What's up everybody, Tyler Horvath here. Welcome to today's episode of The Daily Tea. Today, I'm gonna tell you how to do simple keyword research. So if you are looking to rank your pages or your website for certain keywords, I'm gonna show you the best way to find good keywords to rank for and to find keywords that you can actually rank for. So in this video, I'm gonna be using Arefs, which is a great tool for SEO. Um, if you are doing your own SEO campaigns or um, you know wanting to track your rankings, then Arefs is a great tool to use. Uh, it's a little expensive, but if you're doing anything with SEO, then it's super useful and you definitely need to be using it. So if you want to know the best keywords to look for and how to find the best keywords with low competition and high traffic searches, then this video is perfect for you. So stand by and this is how you do simple keyword research. Let's go. Okay guys, so now we are in Arefs and we're going to do some keyword research and I'm gonna pick a random topic and we're going to you know, go through how you would do keyword research if you were searching for keywords for your site or industry. So let's say that we want to start a company about sleeping and you know, like pillows, neck braces, all sorts of stuff that has to do with sleeping. So first we are going to find keywords that have a pillow in it. So let's say we want to rank one of our pillows and we're going to look up the competition for keywords and um, we're going to look for some long tail keywords with high, high traffic and low competition that we can start to rank for. So let's go into our keyword explorer here in Arefs and let's just start with pillow. And let's get some ideas here. So let's search for pillow. So now you're gonna be shown this overview page of the keyword that you chose. And you can see the search volume, uh, how many clicks it gets, and you know global search volume. So this is all really great information to see. Um, you can see here there's a with clicks and a without clicks. So that means that 28% of people are clicking on um, these results. And you can see over here that 17% are paid results. So you know companies who are using AdWords to um, you know advertise their pillow or whatever. Um, and then organic is 83%. And you can even see uh, the average CPC in AdWords. So it's about a dollar ninety, which is pretty cheap. Uh, but that's because pillows is you know it's not a keyword that you want to try and rank for because um, it could be anything. You know someone could just be researching pillows or um, you know looking up pillows and that's why keyword intent is also very important as well um, you want to be ranking for more keywords like buy pillows or you know um, pillow review stuff like that people who are intending to uh, buy your product so we can click view all here and see all of the keywords that have pillow in it and this will um, give us an idea of you know the keyword difficulty and the volumes that that we can you know expect from some of these keywords so um, let's say we wanted to do a pregnancy pillow so one of our pillows specializes in um, you know for pregnant women and we want to start ranking for this so let's click this or copy it and put it in there and I'll tell you a little bit more about these uh, values here Okay, so we have our more uh, long tail keyword with preg pregnancy pillow, and you can see here that the keyword difficulty is nine. So what that means is that you will probably need about 10 backlinks from different domains to your product page um, with pregnancy pillow as the anchor to you know rank first for this page. So really, uh, as far as keyword difficulty, that is pretty good. Um, when you're looking for keyword difficulty and you're a new site, you want to try and stay under 10 because um, you know it's hard to get those high quality backlinks at first when you are first starting out a site. So make sure that there's not a lot of keyword uh, difficulty and not a lot of, of competition. Uh, but you also want to make sure that it actually gets searches. So we can see that this gets 29,000 searches a month. So that is really really good. Um, we can probably try and just rank for pregnancy pillow um, but we're going to view all of these here and we can get even more um, specific so um, you can see you know pregnancy body pillow is seven keyword difficulty um, pregnancy wedge pillow is only one so ideally you would want to create a page about pregnancy pillows 
and then you would feature some of these main keywords on here as you know your H2s or subsections of your page and then talk a little bit more about um, you know that content so another great part of AREFs is you can actually see uh, what uh, results are ranking right here inside of AREF. So if you go over here to uh, SERP, which is Search Engine Results page, and click Show, you can actually see all of the first 10 organic rankings that are ranking for this, and you can see all sorts of information like their Alexa rank, domain rating, how many backlinks they have, how much traffic they're getting from this keyword, etc. etc. So you can see that this top one here, 13 best pregnancy pillows, um, it has only one backlink to this page um, so that's kind of a good um, indicator that you can probably rank for this keyword because the top one has only one backlink so you want to look at uh, backlinks and you want to look at the quality of the article so let's click on this and see what it looks like so it looks like a really nice in-depth article it has plenty of photos and um, plenty of reviews of all these different kinds of pillows so that is probably why this one is ranking so good is because um, it has a great user experience and people who are coming to it probably find what they're looking for um, and I'm sure that this person is doing really well with these uh, affiliate links since this is the first result and they're getting about 8,000 searches a month to this page so in order to outrank this page, you would need to first create good content that is better than this content. So longer, uh, maybe add some, some YouTube reviews, uh, more images, stuff like that uh, will get you ranked better. And make sure that you um, also have more content. So a good way to do that is to use a tool. and you can put the URL in this count word counting tool and it will tell you how many words are in the entire page. So you can see that the page has 1800 words. Um, pillow is talked about 65 times, pregnancy 62 times. So they have pretty good keyword density. So when you're creating your article to outrank this one, you will want to make it more than 2000 words and make it better than this one. And then once you start building backlinks to that page, you uh, will outrank you know this page so another good way to find really good keywords is to search for your main keyword and then you can actually click this filter here the keyword difficulty filter now let's say that you want to rank for you know pretty easy keywords you can um, go from zero to let's say five so this will show you keywords that are pretty easy to rank for you only need about five backlinks to a page to rank for these keywords and now you can rank it by volume so you can see the highest volume keywords with the lowest keyword difficulty so um, examples like this one would be really great so Bobby pregnancy pillow has 900 searches a month but there's zero keyword difficulty so technically with just a few backlinks um, with this anchor text you could rank for this this uh, this page so it is a brand which is a little bit harder to outrank. Uh, it'll have to be like a specific review about the brand um, or something like that. But um, as far as ranking for um, branded keywords, it's a little more difficult than um, than just building a few more backlinks. But we can go, you know, down to this one right here. So pregnancy wedge pillow would be perfect because it only has one um, keyword difficulty, but it has 600 searches a month. So let's check out these results. So your first one is the Amazon um, Toys R Us. So it's going to be a little harder to rank you. So we can see that uh, ranking for pregnancy wedge pillow would be somewhat easier than um, you know some of these other keywords with high keyword difficulty. So. The key to good keyword research is finding keywords that you can actually rank for. So if you're trying to you know, rank for a keyword like car or uh, bed, it's gonna be almost impossible. You're gonna be um, competing with some of the largest companies in the world who have millions of dollars to spend on SEO and advertising every you know, month or even every year. So 
Um, the best way to do keyword research is to find uh, low keyword difficulty keywords that have high search volume. So doing the method where you only um, choose you know, zero to five keyword difficulty or zero to 10 and then sorting by, by volume, uh, that's a great way to find the, the highest searched keywords that will be the easiest to rank for and will give you the best ROI for you on your SEO campaign. So that is pretty much how you do simple keyword research. Uh, you can get even more in depth and crazy with it in advanced. Uh, probably make a video here soon on how to you know do some more advanced keyword um, research techniques. But uh, this is kind of how you get started. Please comment below with any questions you have about keyword research or the video. And uh, thanks, and have a great day.